whiskey. Whew, very strong stuff. How about a top up, Mr. Hobbs? Hmm, don't mind if I do. Hey, stop meddling with that! The power's ropey enough as it is! Blowing the power would certainly have distracted Hobbs, but the elevator alone wasn't going to trip the whole system. Hey! Leave that dial alone. Sorry, but Lady Piermont is cold. I thought... Look, pal, I know it's brass monkeys in here, but the wiring in this building is ancient, and the fuse box won't take it. Her Majesty will just have to get used to chapel hat pegs. Lady Piermont, Mr. Hobbs won't let me turn up the heating. Well, we'll soon see about that. Oh... Rooms. If you do not adjust the heating, I shall refuse to cooperate. Lady Piermont, it's the circuits. They won't take the strain. You know what old buildings are like. In which case, I see no reason for this session to continue. Whoa, Lady Piermont, let's not be too hasty. I'm sure I can accommodate your needs. Good. Perhaps you can start by letting George here turn up the heating. Oh, oh go ahead then, but be careful. The power in here is uh, temperamental. I'd turn the thermostat up as far as it would go. I wondered if the suspicious wiring could be used to my advantage. It was an empty whiskey glass. How about another whiskey? That's smashing. Pour away. A word if I may, Lady Piermont. For you, George, I'm all ears. How can I help? How did you come to be working with Mr. Hobbs? Wheresoever a bohemian needs a helping hand, George, mine is always at the ready. And what better way to help than to expose one's flesh to the sensuous brushstrokes of such a talent? Do you know anything about a stolen painting called La Maledicción? Oh, oh, is this another of your adventures, George? <laughs> How delicious. Shh. My heart's a tremor, George. Do you think Wilf is mixed up with this? Maybe, but I need you to act normally until we're sure. Mum's the word, Georgie. Can you keep a secret, Lady Pierre? I am the very soul of discretion, as you know. You see that portfolio by Hobbs's table? We need to take a peek inside. Be still, my beating heart. Just give me the nod and I'm putty in your hands. So what have you been up to since our last encounter, Lady Piermont? Charity work, dear boy. Oh, any particular kind? Young men, George. So many have lost their way. I try to guide them best I can. Would you like a sniff of this? 
I'd rather not. Gives me 70s flashbacks. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Not much, Georgie. Not much. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Not much. She wouldn't want to see it. Could I tempt you with a cookie, Lady Piermont? You could tempt me with many things, George. But a half-eaten rich tea is not one of them. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Not much, Georgie. What do you think of this? What do you think of... What do you think... Not... How about a sh... No, oh, no, dear. I don't touch the stuff. Reminds me of husband number five. Or was it six? Terrible bore, anyway. I'm strictly a gin girl. Ice and a slice and a whiff of tonic. Lady Piermont, we need your help. How thrilling! What do you need? Subterfuge? Leisure domain? Um, actually, I just need you to step onto that lift behind you. Oh, but of course. Is this good, George, darling? Perfect. Now, just stay right there. Now is my chance. It was one of Hobbes' sketches. It was one of... More of Hobbes' sketches. The model looked familiar. Impressionist sketches. Well, it wasn't La Maledixio, but it did appear to be a study for an element of the painting, the Ouroboros. There was something different about the image in the center. I figured the sketch might come in handy, so I took it. What the heck are you doing with those? They're private papers. Huh? So, you're not models? No, Mr. Hobbs. Well, you can't be a copper. You're not stupid enough. So what the blazes are you doing in my studio? We're investigating the theft of La Maledixio. I told you, I just restored it. That's what I do. Restore paintings. And these sketches? Studies done during the restoration. Nothing more. I've got now to do with what happened after that painting left this studio. How was I to know it was going to get Henri killed? Hang on a second. How do you know Henri's dead? Look, he and I went back a long way. Le Lézard Bleu was on the rope, so I got the painting into his exhibition. Nothing like this was supposed to happen. But something did happen, Hobbs. Your friend lost his life. Look, I'll help you however I can, but this mess is way above my pay grade. What do you want to know? I was sure he didn't want to see it. How come you needed to make so many sketches of the painting to restore it? Restoration is not about throwing a lot of paint around. It, it takes research. The surf is a complicated painting. A lot of subtext. A lot of symbols. Why would anyone want to steal La Maledizio? It's not exactly a famous painting. True. But there is something special about it that's hard to describe. There's conviction in every brushstroke. Whoever El Serp was, he had a tale to tell. The symbolism is deeply religious. 
We have reason to believe that Madovsky is mixed up in the theft of La Melodic Seal. Eh? <laughs> what would he gain from stealing his own painting? We have strong evidence that Madovsky is not the real owner. He'll have a hard time proving that. Medovsky has a full set of provenances for the painting. It traces its legitimate ownership all the way back to the painter. Why didn't Madovsky mention it? Because they're not with him. Henri's got them. Or had them. And Henri is dead. So ask his partner. Lane? Lane, yeah, Lane. Look, pal, you're wasting your time looking for conspiracies here. And you're wasting my time if you're not actually going to get naked. Go get the provenance from Lane, and everything will turn out hunky-dory. But it also puts Marquez's story into question. Not my problem, darling. Now both of you, get lost. I've got a painting to finish. And we have a critic to interrogate. Someone's lying, but who? Is it the gangster or the old Spaniard? The painter or the art critic? I need to head back for Nave's reconstruction. What about the evidence from Medovsky's house? Will you give it to Nave? I think I should. And I can put the squeeze on Lane. Ask him about the provenance. Good. I've got lunch with Ronnie tomorrow. This story is hurting up, and I want to make sure he keeps me on it. Taxi!